What up, what up? We back at it again, bitch. Um, Packers versus Seahawks. Mm. All I can say is, let it snow, let it snow. I hope it's a fucking snow game. That way that could kind of slow the Seahawks down defensively because uh yeah man it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough game this is our this this is our this is probably our toughest game of the season um i'm looking forward to it as you guys may know the seahawks have never won in green bay since 1999 so that's over that's a lot of years <laughs> i would hate to see that uh Alkalade at Lambeau Field uh, against this team falter this weekend. So I'm hoping our boys come out ready to play um, physical football because I'm pretty sure damn well, I'm pretty sure no damn well they gonna come and play some physical football and we just gotta be prepared for it. Um, I'm I'm hoping Jared Cook can be a factor in this game. I hope he can be a, him and Randall Cobb. Those are the two guys that I'm looking forward to being a factor in this game. And I'm looking forward to our defense stopping the run with fucking Riles and Russell Wilson and fucking uh, uh, Tyler Lockett. And another thing, too, we cannot, we cannot let Pete Carroll run some old ridiculous ass fucking trick play when we not even suspecting it like on a fucking it's fourth and three and they getting ready to punt the ball and all of a sudden the motherfucking uh uh snap uh, lo- the snapper fucking uh snaps it to the fucking punter and he runs for a fucking 16 yards down the fucking sideline like i do not want to see that shit we got to be well prepared for Pete carroll and this fucking college trickery because he does that in games and it's and it's embarrassing, man. It's really embarrassing to see that happen. So I hope Mike McCarthy is re- really aware of the type of fucking chances and risk that fucking Pete Carroll is gonna take. You know, I would hate to see them score a touchdown on some fucking fake extra point bullshit or a fucking uh, 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 flea flicker down the field where he tossing the ball to Doug Ball and Doug Ball and throwing the ball to Russell Wilson or he throwing it to fucking Tyler Lockett open down the field like we cannot let that bullshit slide and Don Capers if Clay Matthews is playing I don't know what the fuck Clay Matthews is doing at this point in time in Clay Matthews career I think the motherfucker is overrated at one point in time he was the highest paid linebacker in the fucking league with 75 million dollars and he he's only had one season where he had double digit sacks. And I think that was the year he won defensive player of the year. Like since then his sack total has been, you know what I'm saying, ain't even touched double digits, man. I think the close he ever came to was like eight or nine sacks. Like, come on, bro. This is a waste of money. I mean, I understand all of the other shit that Clay Matthews does, but these injuries, I, I could see that he's taking a, a, a slight step back, man. You know what I mean? So with all that being said, fuck Desert Eagle 90, a.k.a. Desert Eagle 445. Uh, fuck Nitro Freak 445. This motherfucker just can't keep the Packers dick out of his mouth. He, he Him and EDP did a, a video talking about, uh, you know, who they thought the teams were going to win that week. And this motherfucker picked the Texans to beat us. If you listen to Nitro Freak and you're a gambler, sports gambler like me, do not listen to that dummy. <laughs> do not listen to him. He is a straight idiot. Man. Ooh, the Packers secondary suck. Yeah, we terrible. But in the last two games, we only gave up 13 points. And a couple of those was on the ground. What about your Eagles, bruh? What about the Eagles, bruh? And I told Desert Eagle 90, a.k.a. Desert Eagle 445, faggot cornball ass, <laughs> that they was going to lose to the Bengals and they about to lose to the Redskins to this week. And you know what he says to me in the comment? He goes, oh, you really know a lot about football. I said, when it comes to the Eagles 
It ain't shit. It ain't shit to explain. Oh, you can't even explain. Explain what about the Eagles? Like EDP says, y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't about shit, and y'all ain't gonna never be shit. So, like I said, man, in a comment on your video, talking about the Redskins doing all of this uh, uh, hate week videos and shit, looking stupid after after Sunday, gotta eat crow, shit it out, and then eat it again. That's what you're going to do this week too, motherfucker. At the end of the day, it's Go Pack Go. Shout out to Pack Revolution. You know what I'm saying? Keep supporting the videos because I'm going to keep putting them up every week. Once football season is over, I'm going to be jumping into some commentary on basketball right now. I'm not even thinking about basketball. I'm a Lakers fan. We hurt. Got a lot going on. I'm trying to see if these boys can get healthy and get back on the floor and, and try to make a run at the playoffs, hopefully. But, uh... I'm going to check on up out of this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the big dog today doing my thing. So uh, to all the Packers fans, go Pack Go.